In the Pakistani city of Peshawar, Shiite Muslims observed Ashura, a day of mourning for the 7th century martyrdom of the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad. Some believers beat themselves as part of the mourning rituals. Security forces were on high alert against the threat of sectarian violence. In Iraq, believers marked Ashura with a procession in Karbala, a Shiite holy city. The rituals took place despite a tense security situation. A suicide bomber struck a crowd of Shiite Muslims in the eastern city of al sadia killing at least 30 people. In Moscow, flight personnel working at Cheremetyevo airport protested against the arrest of their union leaders on fraud charges. The protesters say their leaders were set up by police under pressure from the majority state-owned airline Aeroflot in a bid to undercut the union's power. In Georgia, some 2,000 railway workers went on strike to demand payment for overtime work, fair compensation corresponding to length of service, and changes in the railway administration. The strike did not include train drivers, and trains continued to run on schedule. In Tajikistan, motorists are expecting fuel prices to drop by as much as 25 percent after Russia temporarily canceled a tax on fuel exports to the country. Russia's move is the result of Tajikistan's agreement to host a Russian military base, but the exact terms of the deal are still under discussion. In Bosnia-Herzegovina, more than 500 metal industry workers protested in front of government offices in the capital, Sarajevo. The workers were demanding state intervention to help save struggling companies from bankruptcy. In Kyrgyzstan, a new memorial for the late writer Chingiz Aitmatov opened near the capital Bishkek in honor of the upcoming 85th anniversary of his birth. Aitmatov, one of Kyrgyzstan's best-known writers, also served as an advisor to Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev in 1989. Ait Matov died in 2008. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.